Let's go into uh, the winner bracket final of Group D. It's the first broadcasted game of Moon on 1.30.4. And do these players really need an introduction? Um, I mean, of course, you give him one. Both from South Korea, both 32 years old, both legends of this game. Once again, Lucifer is playing against the Night Elf, but it's not the Vice World Champion this time. The MTW player is up against the one who is uh, still not signed for any team in 2019. Moon versus Lucifer, best of three. The winner goes into the second group stage in two days. And we start on Terranas again. All right, Moon here. Going for uh, an interesting opening. Going for the natural creep first, which means this has to be a keeper of the grove. Otherwise, I would be greatly surprised. Yes. Yes, it will be the keeper. Nerfed, yes, but still strong, says Moon. On the other side, for Lucifer. Dude, it's a late Alta. It's a really late uh, Wait a minute. Is this Dreadlord stuff? Could be um, Dark Ranger. <laughs> what? Does he just do this for better light? It's a dreadlord. It's a it's dreadlord. A dreadlord. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Things are starting to get exciting. Usually we see it on smaller maps like Amazonia and Echo Isles, but Lucifer is bringing the Lord of the Dread to Terra Stand LV. I love that side is in chat, by the way. Perfect yep. timing, my friend. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How excited are you right now? Here we go, he said. Okay, Keeper versus Dreadlord. Two super strong disables with Sleep and Entangle. Yeah. A player's and forces are under attack. Of course, on the Dreadlord side, there's going to be lots more melee units, namely the Ghouls. Yes. The Entangle is a good tool to surround with, but only if you have the right units to uh, accompany the hero with. Um, with the Dreadlord, there's always going to be Ghouls, so. It might be the Keeper in the early game finding himself in trouble, which is something that he's not used to. To that, um, he's rarely under pressure, as he will be now. But this item will help him, certainly. Pendant of Energy for the Keeper of the Grove. So two more Entangles from just one item, which he unlocks now. Dreadlord, expansion right away. Yeah, but the Wisp saw it. Wisp sees the Acolyte up here, and now sees the Dreadlord, sees the inventory. And you want to kill this Wisp, you don't want to give him the chance to detonate. This is already a little yeah. annoying. You don't have the coil to finish this one off. Maybe one ghoul should be sent over to the Wisp to take him out. Well, I guess the Dreadlord could do it, of course, with sleep. This is pretty, pretty easily crept. And wow, we're going to have a two base versus two base game here, potentially. Unless someone can cancel the attempt of the opponent. But, especially Lucifer, I don't see being able to do that. No, me neither. Especially with this item, uh, Ring of Protection doesn't do him any favors in the early. And this will take some more time. Is this Garks then? To follow it up, I mean, Terranas is a pretty good Garg map, I guess, since... It's so easy to save the Garks over these little rivers that we have on TS. Dude, I don't know. This is the first Dreadlord game I've seen in forever. I've seen it plenty on ladder and on streams and stuff, but this is a different level. And this is the cool thing to see here from Lucifer. Yes, it's playable on ladder, but is it viable on the highest level as well? Lucifer, definitely one of the best undeads in the world. But he's playing against Moon, so <laughs> this is a tough task as well. And if someone can adapt to this, then it's certainly Moon. Okay, he hasn't decided on a second spell yet, so it's not like he chose Carrion Swarm, waiting for the later stages, I guess. One ghoul oh, nice is not... scout here with the skeleton. This is a big deal. Now he's going to be able to react to this Keeper attack. if he runs over, but he doesn't run over. But Moon thinks Lucifer's ready, so... Okay, and Lucifer will Can go back his... to the expo. Can't let this get cancelled. So... The Ziggurat is finished. Uh, I mean, the Nerubian Tower is finished. That helps in the defense. Moon is again all over the place. If you look at that map, he has vision here, 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 and of course at the expansion and the main. And the the undead base will actually be coming up quicker. This is something we sometimes forget about, right? It's hard to establish. It's easily harassed. It's easily cancelled. 
but it actually finishes really quickly. Yeah. How long is it? 110 seconds, I think, nowadays? Yes. Or 120? It's the fastest out of all bases. Night Elf bases um, actually take three minutes, something we forget because it's two minutes for the tree and one minute for the Entangled. So, yeah, plenty of mining. But Moon going for the Shredder. Seems Love like he's this. getting ready for a macro game here. The Love this creeping by Moon with the Shredder. This damage helps so much in cleaning uh, this spot. And he got a flute for that, so whatever he's playing, except maybe bears, mountain giants, um, this will be a helpful thing to have. There's no... Okay, oh, there's a Huntress Hall, actually. So Moon not going for the mass air that he kind of invented or made popular. Because especially against hippos, the carrion swarm's just so goddamn good. And we already do have carrion, right? Uh, no, he still didn't chose. He actually didn't even use his third spell point. So it's no aura, no carrion swarm, and only level one sleep. Okay, holding on to those skill points, seeing what might be necessary. And you can see how much uh, prioritization Lucifer is giving to keeping his expan expansion safe. Hanging around here, taking now the creep camps next to it, even right. now with the Dreadlord just standing here. Already going for a second crypt and a third, third crypt. crypt. Dude, this is like exactly the game that I saw on one stream uh, like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Moon is mining now as well. And this will be Garg's then. So I think Lucifer is waiting if Moon is going for hippos and then decides if he goes for vamp aura or not. Sleep, of course. Pretty helpful at creeping. He goes for a Shredder himself. Wow. Is that necessary with so many ghouls? Well, I guess. It's gonna have all the lumber in the world now. All right, Moon Please harassing the expansion here. This crypt seems to be getting canceled. Is Lucifer gonna TP back here? Does he deem it necessary? It's not too much pressure here, honestly. It's a couple of treants, but that's kind of it. But he is TPing home. But the crypt will be falling. Yep, but he has double crypt so you can start with a few guards anyway and there's not too much space to attack crypt is finished anyway a few nutrients here in the main which is of course exposed due to uh, lesser ziggurats but he will be able to save them close to level four already on the dreadlord i'm surprised he's not uh, spamming spirit towers wouldn't that be helping a lot here Trians, by the way already with nature's blessing so the fire armor points make him pretty durable Tier 2 is reached from Lucifer. Is he gonna rush Tier 3 right away? That would indicate fast Frenzy Ghouls. Or is he gonna go more into Gargoyles? No, Tier 3 coming immediately. Okay, so we'll see about that. More experience from this tree end. Can we go for another... Yep, for another sleep on this archer. Nicely done. Is that the first kill in this game? Uh, no, we saw Ghouls die before, I guess. Yeah. But uh, the first death of a Knight of Unit. Uh, is it? Yes, it is. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> no alchemist yet. Moon is playing this pretty greedy on one base, but look at this triple ancient of lore with dryads only. Expect it's gonna be very good against the ghouls. Also against uh, guards. Is re oh, he's going into double crypt slaughterhouse now, not triple crypt anymore. Now, of course, uh, if the Red Lord gets to level 5, then Carrion Swarm is going to be super strong. But Dryads are magic immune. They're not going to be caring about that. Once again, Moon heading towards the Expo. There is one Spirit Tower here, which honestly isn't the most. And again, he's getting this cancel. Once more, production building taken out. Indeed. And Lucifer's still holding on to three skill points now. He's only using level 1 sleep. He doesn't have a TP, by the way. Ooh. This is risky. Dryads are streaming into the base now. No second hero for him as well. Wants to go for uh, yeah, the Infernal later, I guess. Slaughterhouse far in the back. Gogs are coming out. Ziggurat not finished. And Lucifer has to walk all the way back. That's a lot yeah. of free damage. And look at these ghouls, by the way. Oh, this could be an absolute slaughter in the main. And Lucifer is not ready for this timing. It's not that many units. It's a couple of dryads. It's okay. It's uh, how many? Seven. So it's decent, but it's so many treants. And with a fast expansion, you have a late tech. He doesn't have destroyers. No dispel in general. Carrion swarm now on level two. So that's a necessary AOE against the mass of treants that Moon is having. But he's just a, 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 attacking the expansion now and cancels the slaughterhouse again. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a really good dryad timing. Like, there's just no answer to these right now. Ghouls aren't gonna do it. The Dreadlord isn't gonna do it unless he gets level six somehow. It's like 28 supply lead for Moon. <laughs> and these chicken ghouls, man, they can't do anything. Just hiding. Has to be getting frenzy now. Moon, by the way, on the back of this attack, expanding again in the bottom left. No death knight, no ledge. Nothing. Alright, Karen's form at least doing something against these Treants here. And that's experience, if he gets those kills. Lucifer, by the way, 1,300 right. gold. Wagons! Oh. Okay! Okay. Wagons in the main. Those are, of course, really good against the Dryads. 2 1 upgraded Dryads, by the way. But they can't but just no dive in combination with the Treants. You can't just dive for them. Not just like this. Doesn't know about the frenzy timing though, but he's still not getting frenzy. No, frenzy is done uh, now. Yep. Ghouls frenzy. should be coming from the expo right now because the dryads are in here super deep. Shredder is falling. Zeppelin is dead. Meat wagons will fall as well. He's not even remotely close to six for the ultimate to help him. Keeper mm, has to be careful. He uses the invul now. Has one more mana for entangle, and there is no dispel. It's just a slaughter, man. But the Frenzy Ghouls are here, the Dryads are already pretty banged up, there's no scroll of healing here, so Moon has to TP out, but he did so much damage. Yeah. And he has so much gold as well to easily be able to rebuy that town portal. I was waiting a little for that Carrion uh, Swarm on level 3 to hit the Keeper to make things really close, but not really. There was a little bit of a Gark attack, but that doesn't cut it. Moon is taking to tier 3. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, Moon just seems to be in utter control this game. The Dryad choice there, a really smart idea. Because it's going to be mostly ghouls for a very, very long time, and Dryad's yeah. really strong against those. But we're going to have quite a few meat wagons here. They benefit from the damage upgrade as well as the ghouls. And we're going to have Disease Cloud as well very soon. Death Knight, second. Lich, third. Does that mean no Infernal? Oh, let's see. Second attack upgrade for the ghouls, by the way. That's something we rarely see in pro games. Ooh. Moon sees him here. He's got the vision advantage thanks to Ultra Vision. And some of them may have to TP out of this. He will. The DK does make it away. We have some results from the other games, by the way. Foggy lost his game to Chimiko, the first one. Focus equalized against 1 to 0 and Lin 2 owing Zhou Shishi. We're gonna have plenty of meat wagons here. I wonder, is there chimps perhaps coming no, somewhere? There certainly is. Quad Chim Roost! Whoa! <laughs> and double engine of wind as well. He has everything. This is StarCraft Moon right now. I mean, he's on three bases. Yep. Why not? <laughs> Alright, Dryads are starting to take quite a bit of damage here, though. Oh, the Lich caught out in the open. I don't know if the third hero is going to be surviving this sleep to try to save him somehow. Can he transfer something? No, nope, the Ankh. He wanted to uh, swap the Ankh, but no DK can heal himself. On the other side was a shop, but can't reach for a potion. Double kill for Moon. And still, well, in supply, Lucifer is pretty far ahead now. But what does this supply do? The thing is, Moon is going to have all the units he wants. He can tech into anything. But he only has a Keeper. This is not the greatest late game hero. That's true. Are you still getting stuff done with these Dryads? He lost a couple of them, down to 53 supply now. Against 70, by the way. Yeah. Th like, this disease cloud might be getting him back in the game as... All the Dryads are super hurt. He continues to be hurt, but all the Treants. Oh shit, that's so much damage. He's killing off the Dryads to not provide additional experience. I like that. Killing the Shredder earlier, by the way, was such a big deal. Lucifer yeah. now continuing to struggle with the Lumber. He's got two zero Meat Wagons, though, now. That's a lot of DPS yep. towards Dryads and buildings, but not towards Chims. Four are on their way. More Garks. Can they save him? Can they kill the Chimeras? It's a big investment by Moon, who's now up at 70. 
Does he have sleep level 3 or carry on level 3? Carry on sleep level 3. Okay. It's gonna have to be a TP here, oh, maybe. He oh no! The keeper! Carrion Swarm has become quite a good spell in recent patches, and with Nova and Coil, the Keeper is super squishy and now six feet under. <laughs> I, that was so fast. Did Lucifer carry on him, then sleep, and then Coil to wake him up again so that he couldn't TP? Is that what I, happened there? I haven't seen a sleep. I think it was just normal, st normal stuff. Normal. Because the, the Dryad went, used the dispel on him as well. That was so fast. But that's a cool idea, right? You carry on him, he's super low, you yep. sleep him, he can't TP, and then yep. you finish him off with a coil. And this if that is what happened. Yeah. The damage is now super insane for Lucifer, but he has to be careful. All the chimeras! Hello, twin-headed dragons! Wiping out all the siege units in the back. He's trying to take out this expansion, but it's got a lot of armor. Does he have enough damage here? He should, with one more shot from the wagon. The expo's dead. And he's TPing out before he loses everything, but he's lost so much already! Heavy losses! These chimeras came in handy for this defense, that's for sure. 20 supply gone for Lucifer, who continues to build, of course, gargoyles. Destroyers now as well. Forces are under attack. But there's hippos against the gargoyles already. Yeah. And Keeper is basically level 6 now, he doesn't need many kills at all. There is sleep to cancel the tranquility. But it's still gonna be running for at least three seconds. Yep. Expansion rebuilt by Moon. Main gold mine is at 2,800. Third armor upgrade. He's at two, two Chimera. It's gonna be two, three soon. Yeah, and it's zero, zero on the Gargs. That does not bode well for the nope. air battle at nope. all. Nope. And he has Corrosive Breath, of course, with Quad uh, Chimera Roost. That's a guarantee. And what does Lucifer have now? The, the abominations will melt. The obsidian statues will melt. The meat wagons did melt. And that's level 6 for the Keeper of the Grove. Tranquility, here we go. Healing everything back up nicely. Now here comes the sleep. But how much is really left for Lucifer? Carrion Swarm coming in. That's dealing quite a bit of damage to these hippos. Can these gargs win that air battle? They no. really, really cannot. <laughs> that was painful. Moon with... Seven, no, ten production buildings in this game demolishing Lucifer here on map number one. An unusual dreadlock play that looked fancy in the beginning, but yeah. didn't work out too well. I think it was all about those dryads. They were just able to assert so much pressure. Yeah. Also, hmm. Moon's move to kill this third crypt so he can't go into mass... Yeah. Gargs and dominate the game like he's used to with Gargs, as you have to with Gargs. That hurt like, Lucifer a lot. And how long was it until he got the fourth production building off? That took forever. Yeah. Also, I think, like, what if he plays a little bit more tower heavy? What if he goes for three spirit towers at the expo right away? Three spirit towers pretty much next to the Black Citadel right away? With that, maybe he could have been able to hold off against these strides better. Yeah. Hard to say, though. But nice attempt. Very interesting what the next map is going to be. Oh, I Thank found... you very much, Doe here, for the sub, as well as Mankin. I don't know if we uh, said this earlier. Mankin and Danger Wisp with the 26 months. If you guys ever come to Melbourne, uh, I'll make you some Koenigsberg looks. Uh, with Spätzle. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's some we're, typical you know Australian food. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Yeah, if we're close to Melbourne, we'll let you know. We kind of want to go to Australia, right? To visit uh, Snowkiss at some point. Yeah, you yeah, sure. said that. <laughs> but it I was did? just... Yeah, during WGL. No, I would certainly love to go to Australia, dude. Absolutely. Want to see the wildlife? Want to be scared for my life? <laughs> These spiders there, man. They're crazy. Uh, by the way, I found the big WCG. It was 2007 with 56 players. How much wow. was it in 2008, I wonder? Uh, yeah, something like that. Like between 56 and 64. Those were big tournaments back in the day. And now it's back. Taker is tweeting about it. Tinker is tweeting about it. Oh, man, such good news.
going to be a new city for us to discover as well, potentially, yeah. if yeah. we go, hopefully. We go. Otherwise, uh, Neo's going to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not joke about that. I won't, but I will be pretty you did. depressed. <laughs> yeah, I did. I know, but... You know. Yeah, no. Um... Yeah, what can we say? WCG, it's going to be yeah, really interesting to see how exactly it works out. And apparently, yeah. they're working closely with Blizzard staff on this. Yes. Um, Pez Radar uh, seemed to know a lot about that earlier. Yes, and um, as far as I know, there's going to be Nettie's qualification points for... That, wait, it can't be true. Someone said something about... Nettie's points for WCG because there is uh, there are points to earn for third party tournaments for the WGL race maybe they include what? WCG as well like if you win for example do you tournament XYZ then you get points for the Nettie's ranking as well there are certain um, what it, certain is that tournaments. is that good though like, don't you want to have independent qualifiers? Isn't that kind of unfair when this one guy does well in the one tournament, suddenly he's getting a lot of points for the other tournament as well? I don't know, like, man. Like, the team who wins ESL1 Katowice, are they going to automatically be invited to... I don't know. Isn't that kind of strange? It's just points. I think it depends on how much points there is. Hey, Yoss! Nice to see you, of course. <laughs> legendary performance at WCG back then when he defeated Sky. Maybe you can do it again. I don't, I doubt that Sky comes back, but, you know, killing TH in the group stage, wouldn't that be a nice uh, nice thing to do for you as well? Y'all seem to be quite involved with Warcraft 3 at the moment. I'm curious why. <laughs> like, tweeting a lot and watching a lot and... Hmm. hmm. What could that hold in the future? I don't know. We're waiting for the second game to be hosted. Uh, Sock defeated PCG, by the way, 2-0. So PCG leaves this qualifier without any point. And so could Foggy if he loses the next uh, next game. And then he's going to be really kicking himself over Last Refuge. I'm feeling kind of mean because I keep bringing it up, but it's the truth, man. Will there be a German qualifier or is it going to be a European one? A European one. No national qualifiers as it seems. Maybe you can get extra spots or something because I'm at the website now and it says national qualifiers, regional qualifiers and regional finals and grand final. Regional finals? That would yeah. be super awesome. Like, de depending on... That sounds like it's offline, right? Sounds like it, yeah. Ooh, baby. That's what the homepage said. Maybe it's just for Dota or bigger games like Clash Royale. No, 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 no. no. We're going to have it for <laughs> Warcraft as well. I uh, want my own land going, in Europe, goddammit. Going back to Gamescom. That would be sweet. Go to Dusseldorf again. Uh, <laughs> a city that for some reason Neo doesn't like. Nah. I thought it was pretty nice. Nah. Uh, Foggy equalized against Chimiko, by the way. So that's good news. And TH won his game against... Colorful. Colorful. Well, that was to be expected. I guess a Knight of Mirror. Colorful, really not the best in Knight of Mirror. No way you played Knight of Mirror, dude. Why not? Because he's he did he did play Knight of Mirror, are you serious? I don't know. I like ask. Alright, let's take up the, let's check out the page. Why not I, play human? He defeated Moon in the Thunder and Fire Grand Final, Neo. Did you forget? I how can I forget that epic grand final? Okay, so according to the official page, he was playing human. That's good. Not abandoning the race in its entirety. I wonder what the price money is. Like, how big is this WCG going to be? Will it uh, will it live up 
to its history as the biggest tournament. <clears throat> but it was never really because of the prize money, right? It was more of the prestige. It's not like it was overtowering all the other tournaments. Uh, That's true. Money-wise. That's true. It's like fourteen thousand dollars for the winner. Like between twenty and forty, uh, fourteen thousand, I guess. Back then, by the way, how many games were represented? Was it always around six? I have no idea, man. There were like also a lot of these uh, promotional games uh, sprinkled in between, like these mobile games and stuff where... Exactly, Burnout. The, developer, the developers were, you know, given WCG a bit of extra money. Could and you please host the tournament for us? How can you forget the exciting uh, Guitar Hero matches on the grand stage in Cologne? <laughs> ah, that was exciting. Through the fire and flames, eight minute one-on-one -on -one battle. I thought there was something that you might enjoy. Didn't you like it? Nah, I played it a lot. I played it so much that I hurt my hand playing fucking Muse. Hate that song still. Did you have the drum kit as well? No, 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 no. That was uh, Rock Band. Ah. Thank you, Crash 100 PHX, for the sub. Yeah, our game still isn't up yet. It's taken a little while, apparently. Yeah. It's not like... Wait, they're playing already on Northern Isles. They just didn't include us. Uh, no one mentioned it in the chat group. That's not very cool. We can use Watch, though. All right. These fucking rally point sounds, man. I hate them so much. Are they playing without ops? Uh, no, 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 but when you load into watch, oh, yeah. you always have them. And I have to restart this because there was a little bug in the watch. You can just, by the way, hit control S and then everything's muted. What the fuck? Ah, there we I go. must safeguard the land. Okay, map number two. Moon leads. If he wins one more map, he is in the second group stage uh, to like the day after tomorrow. Or Lucifer striking back. But this is kind of unusual, I think, for Lucifer to pick this map. Yeah, earlier it was Foggy's map choice. Yes. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these unnet openings, uh, able to delay this enough for the DK to come in in time, and this time it seems to be working. This is the last hit, this would be a massive one, but he doesn't get it again. Lucifer is too late, level 2 on the Keeper and the Greater Mana, by the way, which is so, so strong. And I think this is really not the way this opening is supposed to look, like, just killing one or two wisps, this is not what's supposed to happen here. And when I saw this opening the first couple of times, I was like, man, this is really nice. You're going to be arriving in time every time that the Night of is going for this creep route. But no, apparently not. Moon and Foggy are just doing it too well. Now the overlay is working. That took me some time. So sorry, we missed a bit of the early stages here. Oh, bigger mana as well. This is a great, great start for Moon. This should be an easy expansion, right? Yeah, and here it is, being set up immediately after the DK leaves. Now he only has to bring over a couple of wisps, and then it probably won't even get cancelled at all. Unless the ghouls will come down south, but they are so far away, and at the moment, they're creeping up in the north against the little green camp. And if this game was going well for Lucifer, he would have stolen that one last hit from the creep camp of Moons, and then with this one, he would be hitting level 2, but that's... Not what happens, as he didn't get that last hit. Now he's stuck on level 1. A Once again, a weak opening for Lucifer. But earlier against Foggy, he still was able to win. Yeah, that's true. But Foggy, of a course, is back in the Ukraine. Doesn't have the best ping. Moon, I think in Korea, would be surprising if he's in China. Uh, with decent conditions here, but fair conditions, to say the least, as both are in Korea. Moon really on point here with his wisp that Nates once again is not giving up the experience and it's so, so important. If those two wisps had gone Lucifer's way, he would be level 2 now, but as it is, he's not. And Moon just 
was hiding in the corner, I think, intentionally, waiting for this creep cam yeah. to stop, waiting for the ghoul to pull out the creeps, perhaps, even. That was so sweet. If you pull out the creeps, then on the way back, they don't throw their boulders and don't cast slow and stuff. So Moon knew about this and just waited. This is wow, so... Was that seriously intentional, dude? That's I some so. next level stuff. Oh boy, there is a repetition from WGL as Focus defeats 1-2-0, two, 2-1. Two, Starting slow with a loss to PCG, and now winner of his group is Focus. Well done, well done, okay. What a surprise, losing a map to PCG and then taking out 1-2-0. Yeah. Another ghoul kill here for the keeper, that gives him level 3. And now pretty much everything that enters his sights is going to die or is going to be forced to TP as the DK is already low HP at only 350. And it's all more time for this expansion, which just finished. The skeleton scouts it, but... What, what can he do? There's so many archers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think if two more are queued, yep, it's going to be ten archers. A player's forces are under attack. Is he playing... Solo hero again? Like, he can't go for the alchemist right now. Nope. But he only has to wait a little bit for the resources. But he's... I think he's playing solo hero. Otherwise, he would have gone to the tavern, wouldn't he? Yeah. Of course, he has to creep this up first. But then... I mean, this is a lot of damage. This is easily counterable, though, by area of effect or a earlier Dark Ranger. If you can start the snowball. Ooh, these I mean, he's gonna go into hippos, though, right? Is he seriously just gonna play archers? He's Moon. playing a bottom second, bro. What? Yep, true shot aura ink. What? Dude, I saw that from Neutron uh, when he was trolling against one of the lower players on uh, in Shao Wee Cup. Oh. Is Don't it pronounced Shao Wee? I think so. How do you say it? Shall why? But that's just oh, that sounds super wrong. Uh, I don't know. I said shall we? I don't know. If that's <laughs> Newton right. is in chat saying it was not trolling. It's a good <laughs> strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you lost that game, if I may remind you. <laughs> Thanks to impale into all of the archers and Nova. So Lucifer, what are you doing now, man, against this? I mean, frenzy ghouls sound good. It's double slaughterhouse. So the hap kind of the happy build with mass abominations, which should be really, really, really good against mass. Like a bombs and crypt lord, isn't this just gonna destroy this army? In theory, downside yes. Of crypt lord, downside of crypt lord though is uh, once they go into the skies with the hippos, uh, with the hippogriffs, he's not gonna do anything anymore. Well, it's a good disable against tranquility. <laughs> 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 He's actually got decent stats, the Crypt Lord. I think that's something that gets underrated. Like yeah, it's really good, good right, right clicks. Click. Yeah. yeah, and really tanky on level 2 and onward. So don't tell me Moon is going to win this game. He's playing Archers and Potem, dude. This yep. is like... This is a nonsensical strat, man. He has a lot of map control now as well. Like, what? Dude, he's what going Hunter's do? Hall. Just for the upgrades, I think. Uh, 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 uh marksmanship, the man. Player's forces are under attack. Don't see three, though. Yeah, he's tier three, but marksmanship is really a huge upgrade for these archers. <laughs> the hell, man? No and searing arrow, owl. by the way. It's owl. Yeah. It's just chilling next to the undead. Hey, what's going on, bro? Yep. I'm gonna hang out with you for a little Hello. while. Hello. It's kind of weird, right? That owl has no counterplay. It's just. Hanging there. out, yeah. having a good time. A player's forces are under attack. Moon is creeping so much. And Lucifer, what did he get done in the past four minutes? One creep spot, I think. Now freeing up his expansion, but Moon is mining for such a long time. And Moon is actually rushing tier 3 for marksmanship. Yep. How long did I tell you that this is a good upgrade? Dude, this is not a good strategy. <laughs> he's just winning because he's Moon. Please, <laughs> don't give me this. <laughs> Well, it's easy to creep on this map here. All right, damage aura. Let's go. Uh, Hang on, Valor. Imagine, dude. You know what is gonna happen? He's gonna buy the Warzone Battle Drums from the marketplace. <laughs> Calling it now. Are they up? Oh, that would be so sick. 
Level 2 True Shot Aura, plus 3. But we do have like 2 Abominations, 3 and 4 coming. Uh, Disease Cloud is in the works as well, Ghoul Frenzy, and the Crypt Lord, as we suggested. Mm, Lich is up as well. A player's force so this is a lot of AoE. This is the best counterplay that Lucifer can go for. Oh, he's going for the Expo down here as well. Acolyte is here. He doesn't quite have the Lumber for it, though. And he doesn't have Frenzy either, by the way. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's in the works. Where is the Marksman? Ah, okay, it's still 50% at tier 3. No damage upgrades, though, so Not far. Yet. Yeah, it struggles a little with the Lumber. 1,000 gold. Okay, expansion now. Level 2 Nova now. Crypt Lord oh, out now. Though. Yeah, right. Scout out, <laughs> so good. Man, I've seen so many Crypt oh. Lords. Crypt Lord, getting intercepted here, perhaps. Oh, nice. Quick reactions by Lucifer. Taking the other path. Would love to know what's in the marketplace now. He has this so much good gold. good timing, though. I don't think Moon should fight right now, should he? Well, no, it's only 50 supply on both sides. All With right. the double AoE, this is way better for Lucifer. Here we go. Nice and tangle. Here's a little spike. No Nova follow-up if I saw that correctly. He has plenty of mana. Has to use it now. Here comes the big damage. We have no... You Whoa! Still have one. Whoa! A picture! Perfect! Impale! Oh. Hitting it all in another Nova. That's so many kills for Lucifer. A player's all right, solo creep the Crypt Lord. If he gets to level 3, dude. Is Moon seriously still staying on only Archers? I mean, he has triple Engine of War now, and there it is. The best-looking upgrade in the entire game. Marksmanship. The cost efficiency of archers is... Like, it's the best in the game. Yeah. As long as they don't die to AoE immediately. That is correct. And to... Uh, also, the disease cloud on them is really painful, man. It's also correct. Cryptlord so tanky, by the way. Evasion, Ring of Protection plus two, oh, Ring wow. of Regen, wow. Helm of Valor, and now Spike Caraface. <laughs> Klaus plus nine for the Lich, also good. All right, Lucifer. He was so greedy, not making ziggurats in the main, so he couldn't produce for a very long time. This was really dangerous. Moon could have been up at 70 supply. In fact, he's almost at yeah. 70 supply. Yeah, now. Lucifer probably should have made ziggurats in the main. Because still cannot produce. He's getting updates now. Upgrade final, by the way. Plus five damage on the archers. Going for the statues first. I like that. Level four on the DK. Helps a little. Coil arrives in time. Saves the mana for the impale for later. But another entangle hits and he can prevent that. Oh my god. This really should put up a shop at the expansion. It's all about the heroes. It's all about the mana. Yeah. All right, A-bomb production now finally starts. A little bit late, is it gonna be in time? Here is the question. <sighs> Towers coming in only now. Lots of ghouls are coming in. A town is but yeah, it's about the heroes, no doubt. Impale, oh baby. Well, it doesn't really matter where he hits it, he will always hit like <laughs> 10 archers. <laughs> That's true. There's only one scroll of healing here, by the way, which isn't too much, he's... Used it already! Got level 5 as well for that Keeper of the Grove. Nova as well into the background of the Archers. Oh, even Shadow Melt being used now. Invul Potion on the DK to make sure he survives. He's got the level 2 aura. No points in Death Pack. Going for the hero kill now. The Keeper, though, has the Rune Bracers helping him out tremendously right there. And the Destroyers are falling, as it seems. And he's actually making it work. Are you serious? Lots of treants now, and he doesn't have that much to spell anymore. Lich goes down. The Nova is gone, and the Orb of Corruption as well. Just overwhelming with mass. Night Shadow melts here. Entangle on the Crypt Lord. Is there another coil? Yes, there is. The second last one. Damage intensifies. Dispels against the Entangle. Double Owl just for the Lules. And Lucifer has to retreat. The town is under siege. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, wait. It's actually chasing after here. The keeper is gone, so this is the biggest threat for lockdown at least. Gone for the time being. A 
player's forces are. Wenzel is coming back. Oh man, it's taken a long, yeah. long time. He misses the Nova and the Orb of Corruption everywhere. Could also need another destroyer here for Mortis Spell. Back to like 47 supply. Why is he going Garks now? That makes no sense to me either. A for the misclick. Yeah, Abomination is A, Gargoyle is A. Unsummoning the expansion, and he has another one in the upper left. Moon will be 3 to 1 gold mines in a bit. <sighs> this is weird. Like Moon and Happy, and some other players. It's yeah. so unfair. It doesn't matter what they play, <laughs> they just win. Always. Yep. This no is... other Night Elf in the world would win with this strategy, no. by the way. Oh. Lucifer is not giving this up. This would be a little embarrassing, of course. He has level 2 Impale now and level 2 Nova once the Lich is back. But the resources, man. There's gonna be so many heal scrolls now. Moon is getting the second one here. Not. Okay, just waits a little. Oh! He was at the marketplace. There's no aura though. Yeah. No war some battle drums. Third attack upgrade for the archers. It's, it's so done. So many of them. How much? It's plus five on the archers. Mm -mm. Jesus Christ. It's an average damage of 32. For every single one of them. A town is the under siege. Players' forces are under attack. But there's no TP over here, right? Um, well, the keeper's staffing in, so actually this expansion may fall. There's plenty of abominations now again, and most importantly, plenty of mana. Cryptlord is level three. This is gonna be the undead dream. The hero's doing it by themselves. It's also a lot of rock of necromancy, so there's no dispel because there's no wisps, so the skeletons yeah. uh, can snowball as well. Really like that move to have two sets of rod of necromancy on the heroes, and the expansion is in the works as well. Let's not count this, uh, or let's not call this too early. Impale, actually not good at all. <laughs> the Nova neither. Um... Perhaps be prioritizing this more, but oh my god, it's just so many archers, man. It's so much piercing damage. And the arrows, they just never stop flying. Nope. It's like at 300 when the they blot out the sun with their arrows. I knew that you would do a either 300 or a lot of the ring uh, uh, thing here, re reference here. All right, Crypt Lord, perfect impale. Line it up, boom! Oh my god. That was max Here. damage, I guess. But heal Nova. scroll counters it. Moon is at 86 supply. <laughs> he built the first unit that is accessible for Night Elf in the game, except for Wisps. And only yeah. that unit. Yeah, he's only made one fighting unit this game. Ouch. A player's force Pretty good. Now he needs a Bly Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is this is embarrassing. You know the thing is, almost everyone would lose to this. So that's uh, the silver lining, I guess. Look at the damage, even against buildings. Wow! Look at the circle as well. Yeah. That huge arc. Yeah. It, All right, Crypt Lord. It fills time to shine. An, it fills an entire screen, and this is 16 by 9. Not 4 by 3 anymore. Okay, goes against the heroes, Nova into the archers now. <laughs> but every, the there's no way he can fight. Did you see the double staff? It's really important to save these archers. Yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. easily, they're not easy to replace. No, no, no. He's uh, also <laughs> short on resources with three bases. So better be careful. Oh my god. Unbelievable play by I can't me. wait though for players uh, playing this on ladder and totally failing with it. <laughs> oh. Forward to it. Oh, scroll of protection, scroll of healing, everything is green again. The value of these scrolls now. And the A bombs can't do shit. <laughs> they took a bunch of arrows to the knees here. Lich is dying again. Orb is gone, Nova gone. Trying to get the pardon, but she's level 5 now. Alright, aura. Skill the aura. Oh, GG. Level 6 for the.
Keeper of the Grove as well. Oh boy, what an exclamation mark of Moon. Winning this group with archers only. That stings, man. That stings. Ouch. I mean, it's Moon and he's amazing and he played it really well. He played a weak strategy, but he played it super well. Yes. But still, you were just defeated by mass archers. Bottom. Yeah. yeah. Freaking insane. Moon man, whenever he plays, it's a spectacle. And he showed that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have a few uh, new results here from the other games. Lolly defeats Soin, so Soin eliminated without points as well. Infi defeats Fly, so winning his group. Uh, Focus, I said that, winning his group as well. So the four group winners are Focus, Infi, TH, and Moon. And now we go into... Does, oh. does that matter for seeding? It probably does, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Is Foggy versus Chimiko decided yet? Because I th I see Foggy won, yes. Ah, okay. So good. Chimiko eliminated as well. Not a good day for the tier 2 Koreans. As, uh... So in is out already. And Chimiko eliminated as well. So we have some time. Go into a little break, and then we're back with the decision in Group D. Who's going to follow Moon, Infi, Focus, and TH. Either our Ukrainian Foggy or Lucifer. We're getting the rematch. See you in a bit. <laughs> 